Hi, Mike Boniker, ABYC Lead Instructor, and we're here with our 18-foot center console uh, to talk about and take a look at installing a wireless uh, engine disconnect switch. Uh, those switches are one of the more important safety factors on your vessel, especially if you're boating alone. Uh, but even if you're boating with others, if someone was to go overboard, uh, cut the engine off, give you uh, a really good chance to uh, perform a rescue operation if necessary. Uh, most of us know these as lanyards that we need to uh, connect to ourselves that clip to the engine switch. Uh, but what we're going to look at, and we're gonna actually going to install one today, is a wireless unit uh, that uh, works by way of a key fob. There are a couple different variations. You have a fob, uh, you can either wear it on a lanyard, uh, have it on a keychain. Uh, some of them have actually a wristband that you put on uh, and will activate if you or someone goes overboard who has one of these devices. Uh, to immediately stop the engine and uh, you know, help keep the boat from getting too far away from someone who has gone overboard. The unit we're going to be installing has been provided by Mercury Marine. Uh, we're installing on a vessel that has a Yamaha outboard and is specific wired for that unit. Uh, there are ones for other specific outboard manufacturers. Uh, and ABYC President John Aidey is uh, going to be doing the uh, dirty work today. We've got some of the uh, options for wireless engine cutoff switches here. Uh, a couple different units. Uh, some come with a uh, key fob option. Some have a wristband option. Uh, this unit here is specific to uh, Smartcraft or Merc Cruiser. The unit that we're going to be installing is this one that uh, works with pretty much any major engine manufacturer uh, for our Yamaha. And they're all gonna have some of the same equipment. They're gonna have a, a controller, a brain of some sort that uh, is the transmitter for uh, the wireless unit. And you're gonna have a wiring harness that you have to wire into uh, the key switch for power and the existing engine cutoff switch, uh, which still remains operational. So you basically have uh, two there, uh, or two means, should one fail for some reason. Uh, but that's the, the basics of the installation along with an antenna, the transmitter antenna that actually transmits or receives the signal from either the key fob, whatever the overboard device is. For being a pretty decent upgrade, these units, these systems are fairly easy to install. Uh, basically, we just need to gain access to the back of the panel wherever the key switch is. Uh, we're wiring our harness sort of in line with the existing harness, so we've got to disconnect some things there and reconnect them with our uh, new system wiring harness in between. Uh, we've got to find a place to mount the brain box, a place to mount the antenna, the transmitter antenna. Let's join ABYC President John Aidey as he begins the process. So the first thing I'm going to do with, uh, with this install is make sure our battery power is off so I can do that with this switch right here. Uh, as you said, Mike, first thing we have to do is gain access. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, get that key switch opened up and see what we have in the, behind it. Okay, there's uh, access to our, our engine cutoff switch circuit. So we now have that. So let's go take a look and see what we have to do inside. Okay, Mike, so I'm looking at four bullet connectors. I got a red, a green, a yellow, and a black. Which two am I looking for? Yeah, that's it. So it's the red and the black. We're going to disconnect uh, and connect the uh, wiring from our harness in line there. Okay. So I have the red. The bullet connectors make it very easy. All right, we're now connected, and then I'll disconnect the black. So I have a black and yellow on the... Uh, yeah, on the, yeah, the black and yellow goes to the white, okay. and the all black goes to the black. If you haven't worked with bullet connectors before, you gotta make sure you hear that audible click, and then do a little pull test to make sure you've actually gotten it to where it needs to be, because sometimes it'll fool you. There we go. Yeah, that's a connection. Uh, we have a, uh, a main plug that goes to the controller to the brain box. There are some parameters as far as where they, the requirements for installing the antenna. This one wants it 10 inches away from uh, any other electronics. The uh, control box is supposed to be at least two inches away from any other electronics to avoid any interference. And I think this one also allows for installation of the antenna inside the console too, which is kind of a nice, uh, a nice feature so you don't have to drill more holes in your console. 
So we've got our main connections made. Uh, verify we've got uh, our lights on on the unit. We've got power to the unit. Uh, John, what's the next step in, uh, in the setup? So uh, like many products these days, Mike, what we found is that this is very app centric. So uh, the first thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do is download that first made app. And then that app is gonna walk you through the process of not only setting this up and registering it, but it's also the way that you can connect both the captain and the passenger fob uh, to the brain. And then as Mike indicated earlier, you also have the opportunity at that point to set your parameters and how far away from the boat you can get before it activates. So a lot of work goes on with this app. Uh, it's not necessarily in the directions or, or programmable here, so app is essential. So our captain's fob is our light blue. We've already set it up through the app. When I turn it on, it's an audible and a visual indication letting me know that the fob is connected. All right, John, tell us what's going to happen next. Well, the app is now telling me that it's time to perform an e-stop test. So with that, uh, even though we haven't installed all of this because I would like to try it before we put everything back together, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, run our engine. Uh, we have our water source hooked up, and uh, let's give it a try and perform the e-stop test. Cool. All right, engine's running. Let's perform the e-stop test. And there we go. We performed our e-stop test and we know that it works. Cool. Now one other test, Mike, I'd like to perform is to make sure that our um, that our, our original engine cutoff switch is actually still working. So let's go ahead and do that as well. All right. And let's pull the original switch. That works as well. So setup is good. So there you have it. And as you can see, as I said before, for a pretty significant upgrade in your boat's safety system, engine shutdown, engine cutoff, uh, very easy, very simple installation. Thanks again for watching. Lead instructor Mike Boniker for ABYC President John 80. We'll see you again next time.